All right, Tate, I'm in the market for a new kit. There's a ton of options out there. I have no idea where to start. Help me out. Give me the rundown. Totally understand that buying a new kit can be absolutely overwhelming. Walking into a store and there's walls and walls of clothes and you have no idea where to begin. So I think we should take a step back and dive a little bit deeper into why you actually want new stuff. Do you have a kit that you like? Do you just need to replace something that doesn't work anymore? Well, to be totally honest, I just want to look cool, but I want to be warm, stay dry, and yeah, help me out. Absolutely. Well, I think we can just assume as a baseline that you want to look cool, you want to be warm, and you want to be dry. So totally. from there, let's get a little bit more specific. Few questions you need to ask yourself when looking for some outerwear. Such as? I would say the first thing you want to think about is where you're going to be doing the bulk of your skiing. So are you sticking around here on the East Coast? Are you taking a few trips out West maybe? Even a trip to Europe might be in the cards. Geography can dictate a ton about your outerwear because the climates vary so much from place to place. If you're staying on the East Coast, you might wanna go with something that's a little bit better for colder weather. Whereas if you're you know, staying on the front range of Colorado, you can go for something a little lighter weight. So I get it. So it's not the same everywhere, but do we really need to focus on a specific, you know, pair of pants or coat that might be better in one place compared to another? Yeah. So different brands and then even different pieces within those brands are going to have temperature ratings, waterproof ratings, and breathability ratings that are going to be conducive to certain climates. Um, and so really you can look for the best possible thing for where you're going to be skiing. So it kind of sounds like we figure out what material and weight will work best based on where we're skiing. Uh, why don't you give me an example? Where do you ski? What? Give me an uh, insight into what I should be looking for. The Ski Monster crew is lucky enough to be traveling all around the world year round with the sole intent of skiing or snowboarding. So you really have to take into account a ton of different climates, a ton of different weather, and of course, different times of year and different snow. Absolutely. So we like to go for versatility and generally we'll opt for more of a layering situation. So we'll do good base layers, a few mid layers, and a shell, just so you can shed some stuff and have more options in more different climates to stay happy, dry, and warm. Sweet. Which is what you like. I mean, that's exactly where I would put myself. I kind of like to ski everywhere. So versatility is great. Um, but yeah, what else should I be looking out for? Well, another thing that you want to keep in mind is thinking a little bit more about where you ski actually on the mountain. So that is not so much geography specific, but more about what type of skiing you like to do. So let's say you like to rip groomers, uh, stay at high speeds or change it up a little bit and head into the backcountry. The lucky thing is that there is going to be outerwear specific to any type of skiing on that spectrum. Sweet. But let's say I'm doing some skiing in the resort kind of in similar places. Maybe I would do my backcountry skiing why would the outfit be different? You know, like, shouldn't I just worry about the temperature, how cold it's going to be, things like that? Yeah, absolutely. But you have to also take the activity levels into account. So if you're going uphill, you're actually going to be sweating a ton. Oh, yeah. And if you sweat too much on the mountain, it can be a day ending occurrence. You can get totally freezing and it's going to ruin everything. So you want to have something that is more breathable. Um, more waterproof so that you're not actually letting anything in and lightweight so it's easy to go uphill. Another thing you want to keep in mind is that you're going to want gear that's compatible with the activity that you're doing. So if you're in the backcountry, you might have a backpack on and what if the jacket gets in the way of that? It's kind of going to ruin the day. Totally. But it kind of sounds like we nailed down what shells or who's going to benefit the most from wearing a shell. What about those guys, people skiing with the big puffy down insulated jacket? Yeah, wearing those. of course. So insulated pants, insulated jackets are really going to be reserved for the people whose first priority is staying warm on the mountain. Um, besides that, a lot of them are more fashion forward, look kind of cool and can just really be with the more resort type of skier who doesn't want to go anywhere else. Gotcha. So it sounds like we have the tech down. What's next? You really just have to like what you're wearing. Not only do you have to like the way it looks, but you have to like the way it fits. You're going to be all over the place, 
making different movements than you make in your normal day. And if you are not comfortable with your tips face down the hill, then what's the point, right? Totally agree. Any more questions on getting your outerwear dialed? Hit up theskimonster.com and talk to one of our gear experts.